Well, TinyTroop is an experimental Python library that allows the simulation of people with specific personalities, interests, and goals. This allows us to investigate a wide range of convincing interactions and consumer types with highly customizable personas under conditions of our choosing. The focus is thus on understanding human behavior and not on directly supporting it like say AI assistants do. Unlike other game-like LLM-based simulation approaches, we have already seen a demo in some other videos, this tiny troop aims at enlightening productivity and business scenarios. So what if you could step into the shoes of your customers, see the world through their eyes, understand their motivations, their desires, even their frustrations, want to test a new marketing campaign, might land with different demographics, no problem, need feedback on a product idea from simulated doctors, lawyers or gamers, Tiny Troop has got you covered. You're developing a new app and you want to see how people might use it. With Tiny Troop, you can create a simulated environment where your tiny persons try out the app, provide feedback, even run into problems, just like in real life. You want to simulate your crush? Tiny Troop has got you covered. Now here are the technical details of Tiny Troop. Inside this technology, we have tiny persons, which represents a simulated individuals with specific traits, interests, and goals. We have the tiny world. It, this is the environment in which the tiny persons exist and interact. We have a function known as Tiny Person Factory, which can generate new tiny persons using LLMs. We have utility modules, tools for story management, agent validation, result extraction, and more. We have used different caching mechanisms as well to reduce the cost of LLM API calls by caching simulation states and API responses. Now the GitHub page is available for everyone to use and I'm really excited to be able to show this to you. So let's move to our code editor and do the necessary settings and try out TinyTroop. Let's go. So we have the GitHub page of TinyTroop, LLM powered multi-agent persona simulation for imagination enhancement and business insight. We can use this TinyTroop for advertisements, for software testing, for training and exploratory data, for product and product management, and brainstorming. So they have released the entire code. There are different examples. So first and foremost, let's do the installation and then see a few examples. So if you go ahead to the installation, we can see that we first need to install Conda here and then we can activate Tiny Troop. So after creating this Conda environment, download this code. So I'm going to copy the code here and then I'm going to go to a folder. I'm going to open CMD or command prompt. And then I'm going to say git clone and the repo here. So this is going to clone the repository. Now, if you don't have git install, you can go ahead and do the installation as well. Git install. So you can download this. Since I'm working on Windows system, I can go ahead and download for Windows. Just install this and git will be available for you to use. Next, what you can do, we can see that we have downloaded everything, downloaded the entire tiny troop GitHub repo. Now you can go inside tiny troop and then you can open the code editor so code space dot enter this will open up the visual studio code editor that i have on my system we have this code now now the first step that they've asked is to make a separate environment so if you go to the create a new environment so i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to paste it here so conda create dash n tiny troop python 311 310 and if you don't have conda install you can go ahead and uh, for now you can download the mini conda version which is a smaller or minimalistic version of conda and you can go here and you can download this for let's say windows you can just download this exe installer and get a mini conda install as well so we are going to use this command to create a new environment so conda create dash n which is name Tiny troop is the name of the environment and the Python version that I'm using is 3.10 and gonna put dash Y as well. So this is going to start up and create a new environment. Uh, we have 
created a new environment now we are going to activate this environment using this command so conda activate tiny troop now you can see that we are inside tiny troop i can just clear this next step is you can just git clone which we have already done we are inside the tiny troop and then we are going to install everything so we're going to install pip install space dot this is going to look at the pi project tuml file and do the installations that are available here so you can see that we have these uh, dependencies it's going to install these dependencies so while this is installing uh, let's take a look at the code that we have here so the data folder has uh, different data that has been used for example different examples uh, different extractions here uh, the docs file has the screenshots of the readme file that has been used in the readme file these are the different examples these are different python notebooks that we will see and run we have the config here as well now we can use openai or azure openai service now here we are putting openai which means we are going to use openai api keys we can use azure as well but then you have to put in the azure keys here so we are going to use gpt40 let's use mini and these are the other parameters we're going to use this embedding model text embedding three small and that's it that we have the temperature of 0 0.03 or 0.3 so this is the examples here now this is the main brain of the tiny troop here so we have all the agents we have controls enrichment environments examples so all these next what you can do is we want to put the environment variables so we have this dot env dot local i'm going to copy this thing and i'm going to rename this to just dot env which is where we are going to put in our openai api keys now for that we need to go to platform dot openai dot com here and create a new secret key okay so I'm going to go ahead to platform.openai.com and create a new secret key, copy the secret key and paste it here. Our examples here in the example folder and we are going to look at the different examples here. Let's go. So we are still waiting for this downloads to be finished, for the installation to be done. And we will get started once the installation is done. But before that, let's look at through one of the Python notebooks that we have here. So I'm going to go to advertisement for TV and I'm going to open this. Let me remove all the outputs here. So what you can see here is that let's evaluate some online options. So this is a scenario where we want to judge and come up with a single TV ad. We have three TV ads and we want our agent to select the best ad that it thinks. So we have different personas which has been created. For example, we have the, uh, the Lisa, the data scientist persona. You can go and see this examples here. So this is how we create the Lisa, the data scientist. We name Lisa as a tiny person named Lisa. We define the age is 28, nationality Canadian, occupation is data scientist, routine is this, uh, occupation details is this, we have personality traits, professional interest, personal interest, skills, relationships. So as you can see, you can create the entire persona of a human being that you want to simulate. For example, we have created Marcos the physician, his name is Marcos, 35 Brazilian phys physician, and then we have the morning routine, we have the personality traits, we have professional interest, personal interest, there's so many, and skills, relationships. So this is the library tiny troop dot examples. We can see that we can create the uh, Lisa and the Oscar here. Let's look at this tiny factory. So this is uh, a class which helps you design a scenario. So there is something missing here. So we want to put this from dot env. We want to import the load dot env and we want to load the dot env this will help us load the environment variables that we have here which in this case is the open ai api keys also we need to install the dot env library as well so i say pip uh, install uh, python dash dot env so we are going to install python dot env and we select the kernel here we select the tiny troop environment that we have created now we install pip install python.env we run this okay this is already satisfied so let's move on 
So we have uh, loaded the environment variables here. We are using the tiny troop library and getting Lisa and Oscar. And then we're using the tiny factory class as well. We're using the extraction as well. So when I run this, I get this output. So this is a current tiny troop configuration. We're using OpenAI. We're using this version. Uh, we're not using Azure version, but if we use Azure here, then this is the Azure version. We're using GPT-40 mini. Uh, temperature is this, maximum tokens, and the other parameters here. So we have imported all the necessary libraries. Next, this is the add query. Uh, this is the TV ad number one, the best TV of tomorrow. It's uh, LG 4K Ultra. Then we have the full Samsung TV lineup. Then ad three is Wayfair 55 inch TV. So these are the three ads. I'm just going to run this. There's no requirement of any LLM to run this. These are normal texts. Then we built our agents to pick the best ad. So this is our eval request message. So what we're saying is that can you evaluate these ping ads for me which one convinces you more to buy uh, their particular offering select only one please explain your reasoning based on your background and personality so we have this three tv ads and we are going to print the eval request we can see that this is the command that we are going to send to the llm or to one of the tiny humans or tiny troops that you have created uh, next the situation is that your TV broke and you need a new one. You search for a new TV on Bing. So this is your situation. Then we start up Lisa here. So we created Lisa, the data scientist, and the parameters of the creating uh, this Lisa data scientist is already mentioned. If you go to this, you can see that we have this function to create Lisa. So we create uh, Lisa now, we run this. So Lisa is created. We changed the context to the situation that we have decided uh, the TV broke and she wants a new TV. Now we are asking Lisa to listen and act and we put in the eval request message. So we run this. So this is the output. Let's go through the output. So the user, us as a user, send this conversation to Lisa and we send that uh, message that we have written so can you evaluate these three bing ads for me so there are three ads and uh, we are sending this message from the user to lisa here now lisa thinks uh thought i will act a bit now and then issue done so lisa th is thinking in this now lisa is acting here or talking here so I would choose add one, the LG 4K, the emphasis on the exclusive A9 processor and the features like infinite contrast and Dolby Vision to IQ to really appeal to me as someone who values high quality visuals. Additionally, the free wall mounting deal adds extra value, making it a more attractive offer. As a data scientist, I appreciate the technical details and that suggest superior performance, which aligns with my analytical nature. So this is what Lisa thinks. She picked one and this is a thought uh, and this is done. So we can extract the agent's interaction of the best chosen ad in this manner as well. We can just print this and we can see the output here. So you can extract different things. For example, you can extract the ad number, the title in a JSON format. Uh, we can then add this in the string and you can say that add one the best TV of tomorrow is the best that the agent have chosen. Cool. Let's look at another example, which is the apartment rent ad creation. So just like previous, we imported the libraries here. Now this is the focus group. So we created a focus group. There are three persons. So Lisa, the data scientist, we have Oscar, the architect and Marcos, the physician. So this is a situation, this is a focus group dedicated to finding the best way to advertise an apartment for rent. Everyone in the group is a friend to a person who is renting the apartment called Paolo. The objective is to find the best way to advertise the apartment so that Paolo can find a good tenant. Okay, so this is the apartment description. It's an old building, uh, one bedroom, one integrated kitchen, two bathrooms, so one laundry room. So this is the details of the apartment. Then this is the task. Discuss the best way to advertise the apartment so that Paulo can find a good tenant. So this is the situation. This is the apartment description and task. So we put all these to the focus group. So when we say focus group, it goes through all the three agents that we have, all the three tiny 
uh, agents or tiny humans, tiny troop that you have, tiny persons that you have. So it goes to Lisa, it goes to Oscar, and it goes to Marco. So the first thing, which is a situation, goes to three of this. The apartment description goes to the three of this. And we have the task goes to the three of the tiny persons here. So we start it the run for three number of times so focus group step one of three so there are three steps we are allowing to run so as to control the amount or the control the cost of uh, api cost that we have so the first step is lisa thoughts uh, so she thinks uh waiting two seconds before the next api request to avoid throttling here lisa thinks Lisa thought this is a thought and Lisa talks I think we should create a listing that emphasizes the apartments modern and open design its recent upgrades and the convenience of location we could use high quality photos that showcase the spacious rooms and elegant kitchen it's also important to mention the proximity to the medical school medicine school which could attract medical students looking for a quiet and comfortable place to live we could post the ad on a popular rental website and perhaps even reach out to the school student community directly so this is what Lisa thinks and Lisa th says this is done. Now what Lisa says goes to the other two. So we have Oscar and we have Marcos. So what Lisa said goes to Oscar and Marcos as a conversation. So this is the same thing that goes to or uh, or Oscar and Marcos. Now next is the Oscar things and Oscar talks here. So this is the output of the LLM that we're using ChatGPT or OpenAI. Uh, OpenAI or GPT-40 meaning then whatever Oscar says goes to Lisa and Marcos then it's time for Marcos to talk so this is what Marcos thinks so this is one iteration in the next iteration as well uh, everyone gives the opinion and in the third iteration as well uh, everyone gives the opinion so we have now the task of extracting the output so the output is this so we can extract the output so this is the main uh, thing that they think that this is the answer that is obtained after running the three agents so add copy is discover modern living in a newly renovated space where elegance made convenience step into the world of open concept design with spacious integrated areas perfect for the urban dweller who appreciates style and freedom freshly repainted and uh, boasting a chic kitchen with a central wood table this one bedroom apartment originally two now features a dedicated home office for your work from home needs located in a classic building near the best medicine school it's ideal for medical students seeking a serene study environment enjoy the ease of fully furnished home complete with a new washing machine that doubles as a dryer experience the apartment through a virtual tour and take advantage of our special offer for medical students now connect with us during a live tour question and answer session your perfect urban retreat awaits aligning with the academic calendar for maximum convenience don't miss out on this unique opportunity for sophisticated and hassle-free living so this is the entire ad copy i think that did a pretty good job so you can see how these different agents can collaborate with each other we had autogen like features uh, created earlier as well but that goes to an infinite loop but this seems to be better because you know new technology new innovation and i urge you to go through the examples i urge you to contribute examples to this so that's it this is tiny troop this is llm powered multi-agent persona simulation for imagination enhancement and business insights i will see you in the next video with more such ai videos in this channel we focus on ai related contents if you are liking this video please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video also i invite you to join my patreon and support me in any way possible so i will see you in the next video but if you're interested in learning more about the best coder model till date which is quen 2.5 you can check out this video otherwise feel free to go to my channel and check out the other videos that you have so having said that, this is your host, Prompt Engineer, and I will see you next time.